So for today, we're going to be looking at the Plague Breaker sets for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, I've already done the review video and the Shader video. They're both right here. And we've already done the Titan and Hunter video. They're both right here as well. So definitely check those videos out, especially the review video. I explain on my thoughts on about the armor. And I'm going to be honest, man. <sighs> Titans and Hunters got it pretty pretty bad. I think the Warlocks were the only ones that... Oh no, you guys got it pretty bad too. Specifically for One Piece, but you guys will understand once you watch the video. For the Shader video, we go through all of my favorite shaders because if we go through all of them, I legitimately fall asleep. And then for the Hunter and Titan videos, we do what we're going to do in this video where we essentially get pieces from the Plague Breaker set and then make individual sets from those pieces. So that way... Uh, you guys can see or get inspiration for what are the, some of the stuff that I've done. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Plague Breaker hood. And now this is technically a cop out because I have used this one before, but I feel like it was going to go really well with this set because if you guys don't know, this is a set that I did for like a, a professor slash um, archaeologist type of build. And I think it looks really good with this one. So Plague Breaker Hood and Plague Breaker Boots is what we're using for this. The Aaron Swagger ornament for the getaway artist is the exotic we're using. Intrepid Inquiry robes for the chest piece and then the Coronation Bond for the Bond. For the shadering and silvered snare just because I love this shader. And yeah, this is not the worst set in the world. I think it looks pretty cool because it does give the helmet that like scholarly vibe, which is kind of what, what I was going for, especially if you're trying to go for a like a like a plague doctor type of thing. This is going to look really cool. My only gripe about the helmet is the fact that they're like below the beak. You will see like something that kind of looks like a tongue coming out. I think that piece should just be cut off because I do think it takes away from the helmet more than it gives. So. That's just my critique about it, and I do really go into it in the review video, but let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next sets, I'm going to be honest with y'all, a lot of these are going to be super dope, so just expect me to be gushing about these because, again, I love a lot of the sets that I'm going to be showcasing. But for the second set, I, I actually really like this one. Um, funnily enough, I have done this set before. But the reason I'm reusing this one, this is a good reason, is because of just the sheer amount of love I have for the Plague Breaker gloves. It's going to look super cool with the Shadow Broker robes, which again, it does look really cool. Thunderhead boots also looks really good with the Shadow Broker robes because the Shadow Broker, uh, or the Shadow Broker robes has a lot of lines on the sides of the stomach, not stomach, but the sides of your torso. And then even on the, the neck or chest yeah neck chest whatever there's a lot of lines and the thunderhead has those lines as well which is why it looks really cool and then the veteran legend bond because i wanted some like more metal in there as well so i actually really love this one for the exotic i should probably mention is the nezarek stain helmet so yeah i've used this set before but i really like these arms for this set to be fair and i've said this in the review video these arms are going to be so varied for me like i'm going to use them so much it's going to be crazy because they they go really well with a lot of pieces i just decided to do this one because i really wanted to showcase just how good these are going to be that being said i would not hold it against you if you were to ask me like why why did you use iron bone iron bone is one of my favorite colors it's unfortunate though that the, the thunderhead boots takes the off color so i would probably switch to shadering for something that either combines all the colors in one color or it doesn't look weird because I do think the Thunderhead boots with the Iron Bones look weird because it's not the same chrome as everything else. And we use in Silvered Snare for the Bond because I wanted silver. The uh, Iron Bone doesn't turn it silver. It actually turns it yellow if I remember correctly. So there is a reason why I'm using different shaders here. As for the next set, obviously I had to go for a vampire look and the Plague Breaker robes was going to be the choice. Obviously the easiest choice just because it, it makes the most sense in my eyes. So for the helmet and the bond, we're using the Blood Lineage, which is the Halloween vampire set that they got for Halloween, obviously. For the exotic, we're going to be using the Gothic Horror Ornament for the Karnstein Armlets, which is funny considering uh, the, the actual exotic ornament or the ex exotic name for this exotic is called the Vampire's Caress, the perk which is hilarious because again, I'm using a vampire build here. And then the sublime boots for the boots. For the shadering, iron bone again. This one, however, it looks way better because there is not a lot of weird discolorations aside from maybe the arms have just some weird things. But yeah, this is like the, the strength of iron bone is just the fact that it combines cloth and leather 
perfectly together. Like there's no different coloring or different weird things. Um, I also really like that the plate is just like this really chrome uh, color, which makes everything like really stick out a lot more. So I really love this one. Is it my favorite? I want to say it's my favorite. And it probably is because the next one, as much as I love it, I don't see myself using this exotic, like not even a little bit. So for the actual exotic for this one, we're going to be using Felwinter's helmet. And for the other pieces, Eagle's gloves, which again, like I said, I, if you guys haven't seen it, I, this, I took this directly from the Assassin's Creed arms video, which I'll have it up right now. For the chest piece, Skaldic Chant robes. For the boots, Hexter boots. And then for the bond, Plague Breaker bond. So yeah, I rarely, can, I can rarely use a bond for a one whole set. This one is an exception because it's so cool. I think the feather or the the like red fl flower is super cool. And I knew it was going to go really well with this set because this set is very much a knight look kind of thing. And yeah, I can gush about this one for a while. Shader wise, Royal Protector is what we're using just because I feel like it looks really good with the Skaldic Chant robes and the Eagle's gloves as well just looks really cool with it. So like, I absolutely love this set. It's probably my favorite set from this video. That being said, it's really hard because I do think the second one looks really cool as well. The third, the second one, the second and third one look really cool. And it's just, I feel like the fourth one just pops out a lot more in my head. First one's definitely like not the greatest. That being said, in my head, it makes sense because I was going for like more of a scholarly uh, plague doctor look. But if I'm being honest, and if you were to ask me, I would say it's either the third or the fourth, fourth that take it for me. Probably the third just because it's so unique. But the fourth one is also really cool. Let me know which one your favorite is in the comments below because I definitely would love to hear that. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the Plague Breaker stuff. I love when I finish one of these because it's just one of those ticks that are off the, off the list of things that I have to do. And it also makes me look into the other sets that I'm currently going to be working on. So specifically, um, I'm working on getting all of the armor for the Shade Stalker stuff. Once I do that, I'm going to be working on that video because Hunters, I already have like a few sets for yours and it looks super cool. I'm working on Titans right now. Uh, because I don't have the class items for anyone, but I'm trying to get the bulk of everyone's first and then class items. I'll burn those out later, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all coming to this point. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.